Hey guys, Rangermist Prime here with the Geeks of Retro, and today we're going to show you how to clean your N64 cartridges. Uh, with doing the cleanings, this will also help the game play better, play better, and also help to maintain the product. All right, because I know that with the I, with your games getting older, they're not going to last as long. So we're going to be as quick as possible with this, but show you the right way to do this. Right off the bat, you're going to need a specialty tool here, which is so that way you can remove the actual screws from the video games. You can pick this game, this tool here up online at eBay, Amazon, all over the place. Uh, they're five, six bucks. Not really that expensive. Of course, you're going to need a video game. Brasso. And the Brasso so that way you can clean your pens. And then this cleaner here is what I use. Just It's generic. You pick it up at Walmart. Not expensive at all. And of course, you're going to just need a simple uh, cleaning rag, which I use a little bit coarse rag so that way I can see what's going on. And I know it's going to get down there and actually clean. So, uh... Alright guys, we're back here today. And so, right off the bat, the first things that, I mean, of course, as you know, uh, one tool I forgot to tell you about is you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. My apologies. But either way, um, so as you can see, this game here is not in the greatest condition. It's not even the greatest game. You know, it's NFL Quarterback Club of 98, so you know it's old. Uh, it has some sticker stuff on there, but we'll show you how to get all the sticker goodies and stuff like that off of it. So right off the bat, we're going to show you that on the back there's two screws. Unlike the NES and SNES, your tabs that you have to watch out for are on the bottom. Now, whenever you take this cartridge apart, instead of lifting up and back, you're actually going to lift up and push forward. So right off the bat, we're going to remove these screws. Okay, so now you lift up and push forward, going that way. Okay, now that's out of the way. Now this here is just, I guess, a circuit board protector. I'm not real sure of the whole purpose and point of behind it. But it's there, and unfortunately, you got to remove it. So you remove a Phillips screw on each side. Okay, and now this piece here should lift straight up. Now, I'm, and again, unlike the other boards, as you can see here, there is a little black piece that's going to come off with your circuit board. Okay, you got to make sure you have that because that's basically what keeps everything in place. Okay, but you, for right now, you need to take that off. All right, now if you look here, there's another board here. If you want to take that out, you can. You don't have to, but it... You want to clean the insides and whatnot, you might want to. Um, but if you look here on the pins, you can, this is a real good example here. You'll see the darkness, the black. And that's just showing, that's just corrosions from age and wear. Uh, you can see them real good on this side too here. Alright, so our goal is to make these shiny and pretty all over again. So, the first thing you want to do is grab your brasso. Make sure you shake it up real good. And then once you shake it up, Again, you only need a tiny, tiny low drop on there. Okay? And that's a whole lot of drop. Way too much. But it doesn't matter. It ain't going to hurt it none. It's just easier to work with if you have a lot less. So we're going to find a nice, clean cloth here. Tip of your cloth. And what you're going to do is basically put your finger in it and kind of work this around. Now, we have enough for both sides, so I'm going to put it over here on the other side too. Okay, so now that you've got your brass on there, now you're just going to scrub. Okay, then you come over to the other side. Just that simple. Okay, now as you can see, now this cart was extremely filthy on the, on the pens. That's how bad it was. Okay. So now that you've done that, you just find yourself a clean spot that's dry. And all you're going to do is just basically go like this. You're just going to clean any excess off of there because if you leave it on there, it will actually eat the pens. And then your cart won't play. So good there. Good there. Now you have nice, shiny looking pens. Okay. 
So, now that we've done that, what you do on this one here is we're going to have to remember to put this guy right here back on. Nope, wrong way. Sorry. That was my stupidity. Okay. And there it is. Put your metal piece back on. You're going to want to make sure you slide it down so that way it, it fits flush. There you go. And then you take your Phillips screw. Put it back on there. Having a magnetic screwdriver is a really good thing to have, so that way you don't run into any issues. And the tight quarters uh, does not have to be super tight. You just want to snug it down so that way you're not stripping it out. Okay. Now, you just take your lid. Now remember, to pull from the back. Once you set it down, you're going to pull from the back until it clicks into place. And you'll know that you've got a good fit because everything will fit snug again. Okay, 